it's an election year and is the presidential election going to affect the housing market here in Hawaii? As we all know, the entire nation's housing market has gone through some changes over the past 24 months. We just came out of a worldwide pandemic. Interest rates on mortgages spiked to over 8%. Our inventory in Hawaii is down and the state is proposing changes to short-term rentals. And we just initiated a mandatory buyer representation contract agreement that has the entire real estate industry upside down from buyers, sellers, and real estate agents alike. So will the election hurt or help the Hawaii housing market? Stick around to the end and I'll give you my prediction. Well, they say history repeats itself. So let's take a look at the past election years and see what we might expect to happen as we get closer to the election in a few months. People have been in this doom and gloom perspective right now and that this presidential election is going to have a major impact on the housing market, not just here in Hawaii, but throughout the United States. But is that really true? Looking back at the data and going to the 1980s, there were major shifts that occurred as a result of the economy, and it may not have been as a result of the presidential election. Data shows on average throughout the United States that home prices increased by 4.8% during election years since the 1980s and rose 4.4% in non-election years on average. So we can see there has been a very slight increases with home prices during election years versus non-election years. And the age old question is, will this year be different than past years? And if so, why? We do want to point out that inflation has been all over the map in the past 40 years, regardless of who is in the White House or the party they represent. If you think the federal mortgage rate is high now, go back to 1981 when the mortgage rates hit 18.63%. And this was as a result of the Federal Reserve trying to curb inflation. We have rarely seen negative inflation or deflation, and that occurred last in 2015 when it hit 0.0%, which was a general decline in overall prices and a steady increase in the value of money. When we are thinking about the presidential election and how it could impact the housing market or the economy, data shows that the presidential election by itself does not impact housing prices or even inflation. What has impacted housing prices are more tied to policies that are put into place by those presidents after they took office and how they affect our economy. Additional contributors to the positive or negative impact on the housing prices is supply and demand, as well as interest rates. Policies are many times put into place in reaction to a crisis similar to the mortgage banking meltdown in 2008 and the pandemic that we recently occurred in 2020. We see how the White House reacted to those crises and what happened is not only our economy, but the housing market as well. When COVID hit the world in 2020, there were millions of jobs and businesses lost. The global economy was struggling and as a result, the Fed lowered mortgage interest rates to prop up the economy and what happened? People started buying houses all over the country. And as a result, housing prices skyrocketed. It had nothing to do with the presidential election or the party in office. It was the crisis and the policy put into place that boosted our economy during that period of time. Similarly, in 2008, with the mortgage banking meltdown, the Fed put into place policies that allowed people to stay in their homes or offered debt forgiveness on mortgages. So why? Again, to prop up the economy and avoid a major recession. When we are talking about inflation, a simple way of understanding it and what the Federal Reserve is looking at is driving the economy. If we are considering a possible recession and looking at the economy doing poorly, usually the Fed will lower inflation because they want to encourage spending. 
They want people to go out there and spend their dollars. And we just experienced that because of COVID. And conversely, when we look at a really hot economy, then the Fed will do a complete opposite and raise rates to slow down things and stop the spending. And that, my friends, is what we have experienced over the past 20 months here in Hawaii and throughout the United States. It is not the presidential election that has caused this. No, it's the economy and the Fed trying to have a balanced economy by putting policies in place to create a stable economy, one that ebbs and flows and does not spike up and down. Just this past week, mortgage rates hit their lowest in over 14 months, dropping to 5.78%. But we have not even seen an increase of buyer activity at this point. So what does all this have to do with you if you are a home buyer or a seller? Well, just looking at the data, we would anticipate home values going up regardless of the presidential election since they have been continually going up over the past several years here in Hawaii. We are a destination location with limited supply and interest rates have been coming down and looking more favorable to buyers. So you need to stay informed right now and keep a mindful eye on what may take place after January when the new president takes office. Don't tune out and see if policies, if any, get put into place that could affect the real estate market. If the economy remains stable and we anticipate no negative impact from the presidential election, however, we suggest you stay vigilant regarding any new policies in this area. We have covered some areas that we normally don't address and feel we needed to talk about the presidential election and housing prices. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we have seen or we have noticed a good number of people sitting on the sidelines talking doom and gloom about this upcoming presidential election and waiting to see who gets elected before they even buy or sell or make even a decision. The data shows that since the 1980s, there have only been two times out of 11 presidential elections where housing prices went down versus up after an election year. Back in 1981 and 1989, when the economy was super hot and mortgage rates hit their all-time highs, and as a result, prices went down slightly during those two periods. Based upon the data, it should be business as usual. If you want to buy, buy now. If you want to sell, sell now. Prices are not going down, and don't let this presidential election sideline you and stop you from making a an informed business decision. If you got anything out of this video today, could you please hit the like and subscribe buttons? And if you want to get notified when we post new videos, smash that bell as well. If you are a buyer or a seller and need real estate assistance, I would be honored to assist you and represent you. Let me know how I can help. I'm here for you. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again next week. Mahalo Nui Loa.